Hi everyone, it's Lindy on here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I've got a brand new stamp set to show you. This is from the Matchbook Collection, and there are several matchbooks in this series. And the one we're going to be working on today is called the Matchbook Chapel. So let's take a look at this. You get the coordinating dies, and these are the stamps here, and you can see how pretty this is. You get a couple of windows, a couple different sizes of the windows there. And you also get the little pews for the church and the altar and then that little sign. And there's a cross as well and a couple cute sentiments. And this is what it looks like completed. And I'm really happy to say and proud to say that that's my artwork on the front of the package. So we're going to make this exact matchbook today. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm using light green to get started. I thought I'd just do a light green and yellow and white combination here. Just keeping to those basic colors, adding a little gray for shadowing. And that's going to coordinate really well with the little pattern paper that I've chosen. So I'm just adding a little bit of shadowing here. I colored the, all those little bows the exact same way. And I've just sped everything up here. I did keep the coloring in, but I did speed it up. For the foliage, I'm using that light green, and I'm also using the deep green just to create a little bit of shadow there. So I did all the greenery the exact same way, and now I've got pale yellow and yellow, and I'll do these little flowers. So I'm adding a little bit of that darker yellow in the center, and then just pulling it out towards the tips, leaving the tips very light, almost white. And then I did decide to come in with the bright yellow just to make those centers a little bit darker. I thought it was a little bit too light, so I am adding that third color. And again, I'll color all those flowers up above the same way as well. I'm going back to that light green to do my little candle here. And I am using the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens, which you know I, I love these and I use these all the time. And these are a water-based marker. And I'm using my Zig Blender Pen to do my blending. And I've got lots of videos using the Zigs, so you can check those out on my blog if you want to. You can just type in the word Zig, and up will come several videos where I've used these to color with. So I've got all the colors as we're going along listed up in that upper left-hand corner there. I just added a little light gray for some shadowing here. Again, trying not to introduce any new colors. Now there is another brand new matchbook that I'll be showing in probably the next week or so. That one is called the Matchbook Get Well. And again, it's got some cute little sentiments in it. It's got a little hospital bed and a little side table. The sentiments say, prayers for you, here for you, get well soon, and may the Lord bless you. So it's really pretty. And it's, it's great. You could do it in masculine colors for a guy or more feminine colors. I did mine in kind of some pink tones. So again, I'll have that out soon so you can take a look at that one as well. Now, I do like to keep in the way I assemble the matchbook. And I again, I've done several other videos on these matchbooks, but I do like to keep that in each time in case you haven't seen how these are assembled yet. But in order to create your matchbook, you do need the matchbook template. And that is pictured on the packaging, but it is a separate set separate die set and that will create the base for our matchbook these are the elements that will go inside the matchbook and these are the little add-ons so this is a chapel add-on and then again there's the get well add-on and i've done a coffee shop and a kitchen the coffee shop and kitchens are so cute and then there's holiday ones as well there was this christmas one i've done and a nativity scene so there's quite a bit available now so these are really fun so once you have the matchbook template you can add any of these add-ons to that and then there's a matchbook envelope template as well so if you want to create the little envelope that fits these, that is a separate die set as well. I've got all of these products listed and linked down below. 
in case you're interested in taking a look at those. And all of these items are listed and linked on my blog. And I also wanted to mention that for paper, I use the Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock here and my VersaFine Onyx Black ink pad. So here, I, again, I'm just adding some little shadows of that light gray to the cross, and then I'll just kind of fill that in quickly. And then I'm going to choose this larger window. So we'll have one of these on each side of our matchbook. So I'll stamp a second one of that larger window. Let's set that aside for now. And then we'll grab the matchbook envelope die set. So again, this is a separate die set, and this creates this little envelope for our matchbook. You get some additional dies here, that little tag, that little bow, and that mini envelope. So that's what our finished little matchbook envelope will look like. So let's also grab the matchbook template die. And again, this creates the base for our matchbook. And that also comes with a whole bunch of additional little items, that little tab, which you can put a sentiment on. That's a little easel for the back of your matchbook. And then you get a couple little rugs. You get these little icons here, the little stars and that heart. And then you get a couple different shapes of windows, that arched window and the rectangular window. So you can see how those will look on your matchbook. So let's go ahead and grab that largest die. We can set these other pieces aside for now. And for paper, I'm using the Flower Market Collection Pack from Lawn Fawn. And you get these pretty patterns. We're going to use the green, the little flowers, and the back side of that paper is the stripe. And that is on the 12 by 12 inch paper pack. It is double sided for the 12 by 12. Now, the 6 by 6 is not a double sided. So I grabbed this one because it will just make it easy for me to have a pretty pattern on the inside and the outside of our matchbook. So I do want the flowers to be on the inside of our matchbook. So I've got the envelope template here, and this is the template for the matchbook. I'm placing it on the stripe side because I want the flower side to be the inside and the stripes to be on the outside. Now for this one, I'm going to want the stripes on the inside, so I'm going to put this die on the floral side. So once you've determined that, you can tape those down with a little bit of purple tape and run that through your die cutting machine. So now you see it creates the score lines. You get a double score line there all the way around. And that is because this envelope will have a little bit of dimension in order to be able to hold our matchbook. So I'm going to fold on both of those score lines. You do want to take a little time here just to make sure you fold it properly. And then I am using the bone folder just to press those out. And let me show you up close what that dimension looks like. It's about an eighth inch there that you get all, all the way around. So I went ahead and folded all those score lines, and this is what your finished little envelope looks like. Now I like to wait to glue that down. Once I determine how thick my matchbook is, I place it right inside the envelope and then I do my gluing. So here you can see it die cut that little notch and all the score lines that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and just press out all of those score lines. And this is the little flap for the front of our matchbook here. So that is the base for the matchbook and you can see how that folds up and that fits right inside our little envelope. So now let's go ahead and die cut the that little bow using my Sizzix Sidekick machine and I'm going to die cut three of these. I just want to glue them together and give those a little bit of dimension. So I went ahead and die cut two more out of some white cardstock and I'll glue these three together, and that'll give us a nice thick embellishment for the back of our envelope. Now you do want to avoid that little tab there. You don't want to glue that down, so I'm placing that glue right below that, that little slit. 
and that'll just dress up the back of the envelope here. I grabbed a little gem from my Pink Fresh Studio Essential Jewels Mix, and I couldn't decide here whether I wanted to use kind of that white crystally one or the yellow. So I played around with that a bit, and I finally did decide on that, the more white crystal look. I'm using my Marvy Jewel Picker. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up and glue that down using my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. So that's all set. Again, I'll wait to glue that closed. Now I've got my sentiment that says Just Married, and I'm using the tag Stitch Dies. I'll use that little banner die right there. I went ahead and die cut that. And now we can go ahead and glue that right onto the flap here. All of these little sentiments will fit on your matchbook. So they're all sized perfectly to fit on the front of your matchbook or inside your matchbook as well. So now I'm grabbing my Wink of Stella glitter gloss pen and I'm going to go ahead and just add some sparkle here and there on the centers of the flowers, on that flame on the candle, and then I'll add it to all those little bows. And you do want to clean it off when you're changing colors. It is a water-based sparkly pen so you do want to clean it off if you're going to change color and now let's go ahead and add a little sparkle to these windows and I really didn't need to do that smaller one we're going to be using the larger window and again I'll stamp and die cut a second one of those so that's what that looks like up close let's let that dry completely once that's dry I'm coming in with my pit artist pen this is a 0.1 millimeter pen this is a permanent black marker, and I'm just going to put a little heart there, but you could certainly put Mr. and Mrs. there, or the couple's first names there. That would really be cute. So you can really personalize this. Now I've taped down the die with a little bit of purple tape, and I'll go ahead and run those through. Now I did go ahead and stamp that second larger window, as I mentioned before, and I die cut that. And I'm adding a little bit of the haze blue to give a little shadow to those windows and then I'll quickly blend that out. Now I've got all of my little pieces die cut and these are the little tabs you need to fold back. So I'm folding these back away from me and that's going to give that little bit of dimension there and I'll show you here in a minute how we do this. So go ahead and fold the tabs on the other side the exact same way. You can see what that will look like. Now, in order to place this inside the matchbook, what you want to do is line it up on the left, the left fold there and the bottom fold. So I want to take that back tab and I'm going to add some glue right to that tab and I'm pressing it out to the edges with my finger. And then I'll place this, I'll fold this down flat and then I'll line it up again with the score line on the left and the score line on the bottom. And I'm just checking that there to make sure it's not in the way. Using my bone folder just to press that out. Now with this second tab, I'm going to add glue to that same back tab, pressing it out with my finger again. But for this one, I'm going to fold the whole thing flat. And I'll fold the entire piece flat and press it down. And then when you lift it up, you can see that cute little dimension that we get. I like to reach inside with my bone folder as well, just to make sure everything's securely glued down. Now I've got the little tab on the pews, and I'm going to fold each of those back. Again, I'll add a little bit of glue here. And then I'll fold this tab behind itself, and then I'll glue it right along that edge. Again, making sure it doesn't come below the bottom of that template there. And I'll do the same thing for the other side.
So once those two are in place, you can see it's starting to come together. Let's add the two windows. I'm just going to center these on the right and left panels. Now I can go ahead and just press those out. I want to make sure everything's glued down really well because it's, it is an interactive card, so I like to make sure that everything is securely placed. So now I'm adding the little cross behind the altar. And then for this piece here, this little pop-up sign, I'm folding that back. And then when I place it down, I want to make sure I place it either in front of that little notch or, or behind that little notch. I just don't want it to get in the way here. Just do make sure if you place it behind the notch when you fold it flat that it doesn't get in the way of folding up the matchbook. So do check that before you glue it down. So I'm folding everything flat. I, I like to fold in the two sides and then fold up the bottom and you can see that creates our little matchbook which is going to fit perfectly inside our envelope. So again what I like to do is glue this down once I know how thick my matchbook is. It will depend on the thickness of the paper you use and how many little items you put inside your matchbook. So again, I like to wait and then now that I, what I do is just leave it right inside, close it up, and then I know it's going to fit perfectly. So now you can see our cute little matchbook is all set. Let me give you a closer look at this. And I just love this pattern paper. And now I'll just push that up to pop it up a little bit. And we have our little chapel. Isn't this so sweet? Now remember, you could put that little easel on the back if you want it to stand up on a tabletop. It does stand up pretty well even without that, but it is cute to add that little easel. I saw a little bit of glue there, so I'm just going to remove that with my adhesive eraser there because you want to make sure nothing's sticky inside here. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. Also, please visit my blog at pinkwhisperdesigns.com. As always, thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.